There's another one. Mm, get a good hook set in that thing. Come on. Welcome back to the channel, folks. We are on the Susquehanna River today. It is mid-November and it is stinking cold. It is really, really cold out here. Water temps are right at 42. So we had a massive temperature drop and a big old rain slash snow come through this past week. And it really, really cold things off. Welcome to pretty much winter fishing. We're gonna see what happens. There's, this is the best time of year to be on the river um, to try to catch a PB. Um, the big ones really do bite this time of year. So hopefully we get on something. Hopefully we see some ducks too, because duck season's coming up. So I gotta see, do a little bit of scouting, see if anything's around. So it's gonna be a good one. You guys are gonna wanna stick around for this. folks so we're out here just caught a nice fish about four pounds 12 ounce oh four two whatever that is four and a quarter somewhere in there nice 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 small mouth water temp is about 42 degrees it is cold very cold sorry if, if we get any wind coming up through here with the audio it's uh, a little tough when it's really windy out but just caught one nice fish hopefully we're gonna get another one here I think there might be a couple stacked up it has been one heck of a fall this fall has been just ups and downs two weeks ago well, been a week oh what's that no uh, Last week when I was out, the water temp was uh, right at 62, 61, 62. And uh, there's one right there, fish on, big one, another big one. Oh my gosh, oh, never mind. I got her foul hooked a little bit. She come up, had her wrapped around the peck fin here. There we go, little guy, little guy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is awesome, choked it too. There's my second one of the day. Not a big one, but we'll take it. Great fish. Let's see if I can get it out here. Whew. Those hooks are sticky, I tell you what. First spot we pulled up to today. Second decent fish here. Oh yeah, let's go. Great fish, we'll let this one go. Very nice. Got them on the old Z-Man. Uh, I think these are called micro crawls or something like that. Great little pattern, bright orange. Water is just a little milky. Got that on a Ned head. This little orange color with this dirtier, dirtier stained water, it is a absolute killer. I will not be surprised if we we catch it an actual absolute slaunch today the way they're biting right now all i got to do is figure out where they're laying see how this goes but yeah water temp is very cold we had a real big cold snap and uh yeah it's just really surprised actually i've caught uh, the number of fish I, I have already. I, this is my first spot. I literally pulled up. I've made maybe six to eight casts here. And they are munching. They are absolutely munching this orange little darter here. There's a little bit of a slow pocket right here. I'm sure that they're uh, just playing down laid up in it. Oh, there was a fish right there. See if we'll come back for it. 
Hitting a good bit of rock down there. I was waiting for it. Stuck, hung up a little bit. Come on, baby. What I like to do whenever I get hung up, um, at least in the river, usually I'm fishing the down, down current side, so I'm fishing into their face. Um, but a lot of times, there you go, just like that. Uh, a lot of times I go upstream of it um, and try to try to get it out before I go right to it, just because I don't want to. Uh, in this case, I know I know there's fish right here, and I really don't want to buzz that spot because it's only about four or five feet deep, and I don't want to just scatter the fish. Um, since I know I've, I've got bites here, really don't want to uh, go in there and just stir stir the pot because it can definitely turn the fish off. Yeah, these fish are laying in about four feet of water. Right down off of a rock. Um, this is a rock bar right here. They're laying right down off the edge of it. Uh, this type of water in the river does not scare me at all. Um, to be really honest with you, we might have maybe a foot of visibility. It's a lot of guys that look at that water color and just say, no, nope, I'm staying home. But let me tell you, it's been so dry this past spring that uh with this water coming up i mean the fish are just are just going nuts because they had the, the water honestly it came up uh let me think four feet now it's come up four feet since the lowest it before it started raining um so if you can imagine this four feet down there's big rocks right out here sticking out of the water um very different looking as far as structure and how you fish it but with this rain and the water temp dropping um just that change i'm sure is is really a big deal to these fish because i'm i'm sure that these fish have been uh i think i got a stick there it come um i'm sure these fish have been up in here for a little bit but i'm also sure that um it was definitely a different ordeal two weeks ago whenever the water was so dirt low and they've been laying in here forever and everybody's been fishing them with the water temps dropping these fish come up this creek and uh they sit right here because they don't have current to break they don't have current to uh fight against and yeah it's just a great little spot for them was that ay 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 what was that I don't know what that was I don't know if that was a fish if it was a stick didn't have any head shakes but geez it felt kind of fishy okay that was a fish right there uh, come on Messing it up now. There's one. There's one. Little guy. Little guy, but we got one. Took us long enough. Jeez. Whew. Haven't got a bite in quite a long while. Look at that thing. She gone. Down the hatch it went. Ugh. Little guy. Nothing, nothing big. We're gonna go right back up where that one was laying because I'm looking for that one's mama. There's another one. Mm, get a good hook set in that thing. Come on. There we go. Oh, another nice one. Oh, another really nice one. Oh. Yeah. Real good one, folks. Ooh. 
This might be the biggest one of the night, of course, right it's dark. Right as it's getting dark here. Oh, what a big toe, big brown here. Come here, come on. Oh, there she is. There she is. Wow, that one might push four and a half. Here we go, I'm gonna give her away. Ugh. Come on. Get on there. There we go. Alright, let's take that off. What do we got? Nope, not quite four. Not quite four. About three nine. Three nine eight is what it said. Great bass though. Great winter bass. There we go. We're on them. We're on a little hot spot right here. Yep. Probably another three and a half pounder, four pounder here. There we go. He smacked that. Oh my goodness, no. He might be as big as my first one. I didn't get on film. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh man, he's nice. Really nice. Come here, buddy. Come here, girl. Oh, yeah. There it is, right there. Nice fish. Very nice fish. Uh, we're going to get the scale out for this one. I've been trying to weigh most of my fish just for the simple fact that oh, I want to get a little bit better at actually telling my weights and not just... Uh, not just guessing, so weighing my fish definitely helps helps a lot with that. Just trying to get a good guess on what things weigh. There we go. Alright, 410. 410's not bad at all. Alright, got a few pictures. Gonna release this fish. Water's cold. Gotta get her back in the water. Pretty little four pound smallmouth. Back in she goes. There she goes. Let's get back up on that tree again because she came right off that tree. Let's get back off, off that and see if we can catch one or two more before it's too dark to even see. All right guys, it is starting to get dark. Caught a good many fish. Like I said, the water's cold, but the fish are biting so not too much to complain about. I'm gonna sign off here because it is getting dark and I gotta get back to the ramp to get my uh, boat and everything put on. So it is getting dark, it's getting cold. Um, I gotta get the boat packed up. I'm starting to see my breath. I'd be very grateful if you guys would just go down, subscribe to the channel, keep, um, keep in contact with me. If you guys wanna go down, drop a comment and a like as well. That would be awesome. I love keeping in contact with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Have a great evening and God bless.